Here we go, guys. Dried shredded squid. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. I think the lighting's okay. And, excuse me, here we have an incredibly long and overdue package from a friend and subscriber. So, our friend Colin sent this package to my old address back in like the end of July or August, and it's now basically November. So, this is long overdue, so sorry Colin, this took so long, um, but I moved and I had to, I had a friend pick it up because it was my old address and I finally just got it. So, if I remember correctly, I believe these are, I want to say some kind of chocolates or items, possibly from Japan or somewhere. By the way, check this out. Chilling by the beautiful fireplace. So welcome to Packages by the fire with Joel. So let's open this up see what is inside again I want to first off. Thank you so much Colin for sending this package uh, Truly truly appreciate it, and I am so sorry for it taking so long um, Like literally I just got this thing like an hour ago, and I'm doing this video right away because it's long overdue um, That being said, I think everybody Now has my current address. It's in all the descriptions, etc, etc. My current address is the Hamilton, Ontario address, not the Guelph, Ontario address. So if you like looked in my one of my old videos, it still might have the old address in the description. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's see what we have. Holy jumpets. We have some green tea Kit Kats. At least I'm assuming it's green tea. It's in Japanese. So I can't read it. There's a thumbnail. All right, awesome. Ooh, the fire's heating up. We then have this. It looks like chocolate covered cookies. It says, uh, enjoy the superb taste of chocolate and biscuits made with the finest ingredients. I will, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, why don't I move this way back a little bit? Is that better lighting? I don't know. All right, let's see what we have going on here next. Man, this is absolutely full. Um, we have some high chews. High chews. Oh, excuse me, also in Japan, but it does say high chew, which is English. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> we have what says Choco Bar Japan. See, it's right there, it says Choco Bar Japan. There's another thumbnail. I have no clue what this is going to be like, but it looks good. Uh, I have a gel pack which says do not eat. I won't eat it. Ha. Uh, oh, here's another gel pack. This one doesn't say not to eat it, but I'm just probably not going to eat it as well. Probably better. What do we have in here? We have... Some kind of gummy? Some kind of gummy? It's all in Japanese, so I, I'm, I'm not sure what it says or what it is. We then have, looks like some kind of uh, peanuts and pretzels. Japanese, I have no clue what it is. Man, this is awesome. Thanks, Colin. Appreciate it. I then have. Okay, I have no clue what this is, but it looks like, like, whatever it is, it's like has them wrapped in seaweed, it kind of looks like sushi, but they don't look like, oh yeah, some of them are wrapped in seaweed. I don't know, some kind of a cracker or something? I might try to play with the lighting here a little bit, I want to make it a little better for you all. Let's see what we got. Oh, what? Okay, this is interesting. So, it looks like cheese, but it's 
dried shredded squid. It says that right there. Okay. I mean, I'll try anything once. Okay, dry shredded squid, I'll dig. Man, we still got more, so it's amazing. We have some, I don't know, it looks like some kind of, I wanna say like a, maybe yogurt covered peanut or something like that. Again, all in Japanese. And a letter, awesome. I didn't see this, so here, let's, let's read it. I hope this is okay to read in public. Hey Joel, enjoying your channel. Hope these Japanese snacks taste okay. Oh, here we go, we got a list, perfect. So, green tea Kit Kat. Black Thunder Minis, I'm assuming that's what that is. Af Afford Cookie with Choco Topping. Well, I had some nice music going on there. No, it was that something. I think that's this. Afford Cookie with Choco Topping. Dried squid, uh, grape gummies, high chew, chewy candies, sembe rice crackers, rice snacks with peanuts, okay. I thought they were pretzels, but we're not too bad. And peanuts with Squid flavored something? Okay, so squid flavored peanuts. I thought it was yogurt. Ha! <laughs> okay, this is amazing. Have fun, Colin Jazz Nash Max. Namaste, or there's a place? M something Japan. Man, okay. So cool. Again, thank you, Colin Jazz Nash and Max. Totally appreciate it. This is amazing. And again, I'm so sorry this took so long. Uh, like I said, I just didn't get up. I haven't been up to Guelph and I like, it was becoming so long. I literally specifically made a trip up there today to get this package. So now onto the fun part. Let's go down the list, the way they wrote it. Green tea Kit Kat. That was thumbnail. No, I'm just kidding. It should be enough. All right, this is awesome. I'm so excited. Ah, here, I'll put on some more epic music. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if this is more epic. All right. Green Tea Kit Kat. You know, I've always heard of these things, but I've never going to try one. So I'm super excited I have the chance to try one. Yeah, I better try two. Let's take two at a time. Hey, it says good job on it. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. There's actually English on this pack. All right. So opening up the Green Tea Kit Kat. Okay, it's act, it smells like green tea. It smells like matcha. Let's see. Uh, there we go. So it's actually a lot darker shade of green than I would have anticipated. And it smells like matcha. I told you I'd try two, so. And let's go. Two times, let's go. Hmm. Wow. You know what makes this all better? Being by the fireplace. Okay, so. It definitely tastes like green tea. In fact, the best way to describe it is it tastes like, it tastes like matcha. Like the green tea powder. A lot of people mix it up in a drink. Drink it somehow, shake it. Very, very matcha tasting. I actually, and creamy. Matcha and creamy. You don't actually get to taste too much of the wafer, but very matcha and creamy flavor. Does that make sense? I have another one. Creamy matcha. Hmm. It's very interesting. I like it, but I don't think I'm gonna eat a whole. I don't think I'd want to eat the whole bag. Like it's very green tea matcha, which I like green tea, but 
Very matcha. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Green tea Kit Kat. Black Thunder Minis. I'm assuming that's what these are. These look like another chocolate bar, so that's pretty awesome. I do like chocolate. So now these, I don't have any clue what they are. So let's open them up. All right, so that's what the package looks like. And this is what the bar looks like. So it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Looks like there's like Rice Krispies on top. Chocolate bar Rice Krispies kind of reminds me of like a, a Twix. Well, let's give it a bite. So it's like a chocolate wafer on the inside. Very chocolatey. I mean, they just call it Black Thunder. Okay. It's all white bits in it too. Hmm. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like a Twix without the caramel. The Twix has a caramel in it. But at the same time, it's, it's a lot deeper chocolate flavor. Drink some water, cleanse my palate. I like it, it's pretty good. If you like that, like, again, like that, it's not like dark chocolate, but it's just a deep chocolate flavor, if that makes sense. A very chocolatey wafer. Afford cookie with chocolate topping. I think that's right here. This is bourbon on the corner. There's some bourbon. Oh look, it's even in a gold wrapper. I got a golden ticket. Shout out Willy Wonka. Let's see what else we got going on here. This looks pretty cool. I I so like, I love chocolate and s'mores and graham crackers and stuff. Oh shh, so not swear, but this looks super cool. Look at that. There's like uh, there's ships on it. You see that? Ships. On all the cookies. That's super, super cool. So they're very pretty looking. Chocolate and then, so cookie, graham cookie, and then the chocolate chip. Okay. I like that. Chocolate's very creamy and milky. The cookie is very, very light. And the chocolate's very like, it's not, I don't want to say thick, but it's really sticking to my teeth. Like it's very much coating my teeth. So when I say thick, I don't mean like diameter thick, like, oh look, it's an inch thick. But it's really sticking to my teeth. I really like that. That's a very nice, light flavor. That's a really nice, like, after co after dinner cookie. All right. Oh, dried squid. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I try anything once. I'm just like, I mean, we're going from chocolate to dried squid, so. Oh, I hope this doesn't, all right. I better come forward and see what this smells like. I haven't smelled it yet, ready? Ugh. Uh, so it smells very fishy. But I said I would try it. Oh man, the texture is very interesting. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I just look at this. It just looks like I don't know, shredded cheese or something. Ah, oh, man. Ah. All right, I said I'd try it. If I don't like it though, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna eat it, ready? Here we go, guys. Dried shredded squid.
I'll put um, I put uh, I put the rest back in the bag. Let's just get rid of it. It's chewy. <coughs> Ugh. Ooh. Uh, okay. Um, how do I describe that? Um, fishy. Very fishy. Uh, I think I'm gonna move on to the grape gummies pretty quick to get a flavor out of my mouth. So grape gummies. Let me get this. Let me get one of these in my mouth, and I'll talk about this squid a little bit more. Uh. Okay, that's a better flavor. Huh. All right, so dried shredded squid. Um, it's very fishy. Um, I like fish, but the fish I enjoy the most are the ones that aren't very fishy. Like there's certain types of fish, uh, like I find like um, like mackerel, uh, red snapper, other ones. Like some f type of fish, even when they're not like bad just generally taste fishier, if that makes sense, where the other ones are a lot lighter, less fishy tasting. So definitely is fishy tasting. Uh, texture's not bad, it's a little chewy, but it softened up quite a bit. Um, also, not very salty, but it kind of feels to the hand like it'd be a lot of salty. Very salty, but it's not that bad. Okay, right, so, <laughs> sorry guys, I had to skip over that pretty quick. Um, we're starting the grape gummies, I need a new flavor. So grape gummies, they look like a grape. They're very pretty looking. And it's just like a grape. Like, quite an artificial grape taste, but very pleasant. Very enjoyable. Very light. I like it. Next, we have the high chew gummies, which I think also maybe is grape flavor. I do like grape. Whenever I get by Powerade Zeros, I usually get the grape. Not always, but often. So I don't know if I've ever had a high chew. I've seen, I've heard, uh, I might have. I know you can kind of get them more like an English variant. Okay, so open up the package and it's like a little purple blob. Very pretty looking, nice color purple. Purple blob. Chewy. Ow. I just bit my, my teeth. Hmm. Okay. So this grape is even more kind of an artificial grape flavor. I really like the, I really like the texture. It's very It's gonna sound weird, but it's very, very chewy and very thick. I really did bite my cheek. Um, but it almost has like a styrofoam texture, as weird as that sounds, but like, I like it. I dig. High chews, would recommend. Uh, next we have Send Bay Rice Crackers. I am assuming that's a these are right here. Open these up. Oh good, they're in like little, little packets. Uh, like little packs. See, so I don't have to open them all up. Which is awesome because I was kind of worried that I'd have to open them all up. Um, so let's try them. So they all look different. Some kind of look more just like a normal cookie. Some have sesame seeds in them. They got ones wrapped in seaweed. Let's see what they taste like. Oh, we lost our music here. Let me get that back on for us. Uh -huh. There we go. So let's see. So these thingy things, what do they look like up close? Uh, focus. There you go, something like that. Try it. Okay. So that kind of tasted like a uh, Oh, like a rice cracker. Yeah, rice cracker. 
Try this one. Hmm. Also tastes like a rice cracker, but that one's a little sweeter. I would say there's like three kinds. I'll try the... This one has some... white on it. Oh, there you go. Some white on it, so I'll try that. I'll try the one with the seaweed on it. There you go. Here's one wrapped in seaweed. Come on, stop focusing on my face. There you go. Try it. Okay, it's a little saltier. Tastes like seaweed. A little more, but a little heat to that, a little spice. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think that's all the flavors. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, right. they're pretty cool. Like little rice crackers. That's what they taste like. Like the closest thing I've ever had that tastes like this is a rice cracker, quote unquote. But obviously it was much more North Americanized rice crackers. All right, rice, rice snacks with peanuts. I almost said rice. Rice snacks with peanuts. Oh. It says wasabi khaki peanuts. Actually, there is English, a little bit of English on this. So wasabi, so these are probably really spicy. I actually, I like the flavors of wasabi. Some people don't, I do. I use lots of it when I go for sushi. Okay, it doesn't smell like wasabi though. So that's out of the little baggy bag, that's what it looks like right there. So there are these little rice pieces, and then the peanuts. So I think the best way to probably try this is just try it all at once, so here we go. Oh, whoa. That's wasabi. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, that's, oh. Whoa, it didn't smell like this, I mean, that sure tastes like it. Ooh. Alright. That was a little like a little kick of heat. Kick of wasabi. Not bad. The peanuts aren't flavored, but the rice things are. And they did taste like wasabi. Didn't smell like it though. Which I'm very surprised with. It just smells like a bag of peanuts. But it definitely tastes like wasabi. So rice snack with peanuts. Ka khaki no tone, no tane. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, that got caught in my throat. It wasn't, that wasn't the spice, it was just, I inhaled it. That was good. And let's try rice or peanuts with squid flavored shell. I'm not sure if like the squid flavor is a Japanese thing. We do have two squid items. So, I mean, it just, it's just, I'm not familiar with it. Okay, so it doesn't smell like squid. It doesn't smell like the dried squid did, that's for sure. It smells nice. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't smell like squid. And they just kind of look like what I would call yogurt covered peanuts. Anyway, let's try it. YOLO. Mm. I know it's a squid flavored shell, but it doesn't taste like squid. They taste good. It tastes like, uh, they taste like peanuts, like a bag of peanuts that have a little bit of a, su a sweetness on them, like a sweeter shell. Not as sweet as like a candied peanut or a honey roasted peanut, which is good. I really like these. Yeah. 
Those are really good. If these are what squid's supposed to taste like, this tastes like really fishy squid. No, I like this. This is really good, actually. 100% would recommend. Wow. I guess that's about it, actually, to be honest. But, like, that was a lot of items. This video is probably going to be, like, what, 28 minutes? So, at that, call it Jazz, Nash, and Max. Thank you so much. Truly, truly, truly appreciate it. You sending me all this stuff, and I am so sorry. Again, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, my sincerest apologies for taking it, taking me so long to get to finally do this. Um, I like I said, I just didn't have the package. My friend had it in Guelph since I don't know what was it like August, so literally about three months or something like that. So that's my bad. I'm so sorry about that, but I'm so glad I finally got this. All the items are good. No, you know, nothing was perishable, which was great. Um, that would have been a mess otherwise. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so that was great. Really enjoyed these. I think my favorite items today were the Alford cookie with the chocolate topping, the peanuts with a squid flavored shell, um, I, let's say if those were, if that was like my, my top two picks, then right after it were the, huh. Probably the high chews, these black thunder minis, and the Kit Kat. I really like those. These rice, both rice crackers were pretty pretty good as well. No complaints. The wasabi ones were good. Just I wasn't expecting it when I took a big handful. Um, and then the squid, dried squid, was very different. It was very interesting. Again, I'm not gonna say it was bad. It's just, it's just different. I'd have to get used to it. With that, everybody, I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who watches my stuff, especially the, like if you watch any of my channel, <coughs> excuse me, support me in any way, even just if you don't support me, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it, guys. It means a lot. Um, and I like this, you sending me stuff, like I am, I'm so thankful. It's amazing. You guys rock. Thank you again. A special thank you to. Call it Jazz, Nash, and Max. Again, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed everybody. I kind of already said that, but I'm going to get going. Amazing snacks. Uh, so it's actually Halloween tomorrow. So not that I'm going to give this away, but I do have other candy to give away. I have a big bag of chocolates right here that I already broke into. So hopefully I get some kids for Halloween this year. It's supposed to rain. But that, everybody, thanks for watching. Till next time, stay happy. Healthy, hungry, get yourself a fireplace, eat some awesome candies, and happy eating.